sababu ya stahili kuwatukio katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na hata pia tumeamini hebu tuseme amina mzuri kanisa kabeta amen amen hallelujah so i want us to obey the word of god and we continue with where we did put a comma on sunday we were talking about the holy spirit can can you somebody leave for me uh, the book of acts uh, chapter 1 and verse number 8 acts chapter 1 and verse number 8 that is where i want us to begin we are talking about the man the holy spirit let me tell you uh, if there is somebody who is going to make a personal decision while on the mountain in accordance to the word of god today it is somebody that is walking under the anointing under the power of the holy spirit are you there you can lead uh, let us lead together the bible says in the book of acts 1 and verse number 8 but when the holy spirit has come upon you you will receive power to testify about me with great effect that is the living bible hallelujah to the people in jerusalem throughout judea in samaria to the end of the earth and up, uh, about my death and resurrection now as a child of god as a child of god when on the mountain in accordance to the message of the servant of god apostle nelson if you have to make a personal decision to serve god if you have to make a personal decision to support the work of god
When you receive him, you receive power to resist pride. Amen? Amen. When you receive him, pride cannot be your portion because it is not by your mind, but by the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. Every saint on Sunday, the name 
name of the Lord. Amen. And today I just want us to look at some few examples of men that were enveloped by the Holy Spirit before we can see a few principles that are going to help us embrace Acts 118. Let me tell you, even if we were to preach fire and brimstone, he asks Moja, Nani, see kila mtu ataikumbatia, kuna kanuni, kuna mwerekeo, kuna njia itakusaitia, uweze kumiliki, matendo ya mitume moja, na sura, na mstari, wanane. Like quickly, let's uh, lead. Uh, let's lead. Um, Second Peter. Okay, let's see. Let's see some uh, few examples. Forget okay, about Second Peter first. Some examples of men who walked, who are infilled by the Holy Spirit. Let's go to Acts chapter number nine and verse number forty to forty-two. We are also going to see Acts ten. Uh, 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 verse 44 to 47 Acts 2 14 Acts 9 32 before we can go to judges and we are going to be brief in the name of Jesus are you there? if you are there before the uh, this digital thing you can just read for us because of time are you there in Acts 9 40 and verse number 42 yes. can you read for us Peter sent them all out of the room. Then he then he got down on his knees and prayed. Turning towards the dead woman, he said, Tabitha, get up. She opened her eyes, and seeing Peter, she sat up. He took her by the hand and helped her to her feet. Then he called he called for the believers, especially the widows, and the, and presented her to them alive. This that is Peter who has already received uh, Acts 1 and verse number 8, the power of the Holy Spirit has come upon him. Do you still remember the Peter who is denying Christ three times? Do you still remember? Unakumbuka, a young girl, the Bible calls her a house help. And she's telling Peter, you also are with him. And what does Peter say? I don't know him. I have never seen him. Praise the Lord. You remember that young man telling Peter, even you, you are absent. It's like of him. What did Peter say? Eh? Are you saying Mimi? Mimi see?
You died in your area of operation. Hallelujah. Amen. But when you receive him and the power comes upon you, you will be able to pray till your dead prayer life. Hallelujah. Amen. In this walk of salvation, Through dreams, through visions, like in 
Yaani hakuna kitu unanyita. Hakuna kitu na Praise the Lord. Smaidia ndani yako mwambie hata sasa unalala. Oh, Mungu akuhurumie. Hata ile neno ingekuokoa. Umepambana na usingizi. Si upige huyo dada ngumi mwambie amke. Anahitaji Mungu kuliko mimi. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Kanisa la Yesu tunahitaji nguvu za roho mtakatifu. Kabla watoto wako waangamie, lazima Mungu amekuzungumzia. Hallelujah. Alisema hatafanya lolote kabla afunulie marafiki zake manabii. Sema mimi ndio nabii. Hallelujah. Kabla biashara yako iangamizwe na wachawi na waganga atakuzungumzia kupitia kwa neno. Praise the Lord. Imagine, na mke wako 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 
of the ancestors is very strong. Very strong. I was trying to do a research on every, according to our culture, you know, the way we name, and I was trying to do research on the boy child, the boy child that is called my grandfather. And I realized a very small percentage of them survived. Kama kwetu, kwetu, alizaliwa marambili na alikufa. As the second born, he died. Akazaliwa as a twin brother to the, my brother that follows me. My brother survived. But the twin that was called his name died. Some cancer kufuatilia. Now what are my cousins will survive? Hey, they are miserable, my friend. Most of them premature death, premature death. We need the power of the Holy Spirit. To give us revelation, to guide us on how to pray, to guide us on how to climb the mountain. That mountain, a kind of man cannot climb there. Where our help comes from, an ordinary, self filled person. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's go to judges before I go to the uh, principles and then I share the grace. We still have more time to share about the Holy Spirit. Judges 15, 12 to 19. Are you there? Let's see Judges 15, 12 to 19. You need the Holy Spirit. Shouted against him, and the spirit of the Lord 
mighty came upon him, and the cords that were upon his arms became as fat that was burned with fire, and his bands loosed from his hand. This is what I was saying. Samson, I'm a fungwa. Now, he's of course, I'm a fungwa kapsa, kwa mikono. And now, when they mocked him, when they started shouting at him, that's a sign of mockery. Uh, the Bible says, the spirit of the Lord came mighty upon him. Now, when you are bound, because many of us are bound, to be fungwa, na vitu mingi kama vile ni meelezea kidogo, we are bound. And but when the Spirit of God comes mighty upon us, when He comes mighty upon us, everybody is broken. Praise the Lord. Everybody is broken. When He comes upon you, it doesn't matter what they talk about your people. When the Holy Spirit upon you. It does not matter the history. Your history in a court nullified. In a yuka come on suma like the Bible says in case of Samson. Amen? Amen. Every bondage whether it is a bondage of barrenness whether it is a bondage of poverty rejection Disease and sicknesses. Unajua, you know, you know what is eating the people at your place. So unajua. So anyway, so unajua. Our dad said if everybody was to speak their problem, utashanga. All of us. But when he comes, you allow him to come mightily upon you. All those will be loose. Just, just go forward. I'll the so make it over up. And he found a new dragon. We are living together of an ass and put forth his hand and took it and slew a thousand men. A job on Johnny. See me? Seriously. Joe, ya punta ariya kufa. Inaiza kukua, inaiza inaiza wanto. But when the Holy Spirit comes upon a job, it is able to do what? Wonders. Praise the Lord. Now, when the Spirit of God comes upon the work of your hands, in a sample, you pick a woman dance. You pick a nini? That's it too. We have uh, one of uh, one of the sisters that uh, they were in church together with the dad, Kure San Cinema. She was speaking to us. She's now I don't know that she she must be a, a billionaire. Alianzia kwa kupika mandazi na ni pesa alipewa na bwana yake ya kufanya broad dry broad dry ya 150 broad dry ya siku hizo siku hizo hata haiko ya 150 in fact alikuwa afanye broad dry na ashukwe lines za 100 na akasema nitaomba pesa mpaka lini pesa ya broad dry na ya kushuka lines anaitwa sister justin Akaenda akanunua unga ya ngano moja na mafuta ya solid akaanza kupika mandazi. Uko moja na mafuta ya mia. Na kwa sababu roho wa Bwana akishuka juu ya kila ulicho nacho inakuwa mestre. Haleluya. Mungu you know Dr. Nelson, Dr. Nelson, Dr. Nelson, Mungu, Loho, Wabwana, Akishu,
Ukishuka juu ya wale kuangu it will be beyond every education you have started to where you are preached wanataka mayai ile kwa siku I am I am quoting him because he is a doctor of very high uh, in those levels very high doctor in that level Apostle Nelson logically inawezekana Si inawezekana Si hata wanafika mahali hawatangi hata karibu nikupigie simu nikuulize daktari hii ni kawaida hawatangi na wanakula Lakini roho wa Bwana akishuka juu yao Haleluya Akishuka juu ya kile unafanya Sio mikakati unaweka You know that is the plight I want us to remove Hiyo ndio kiburi nataka tuweke chini Kufika kwa ofisi, Sheila 
tulipopisha tu hivi akafungua mlango akawaambia manager Dr. Inambo my pastor I have not, this is my pastor doctor and this one she qualifies for that post <laughs> The, the, the card was to go from there to the CEO, a very feared lady. I call my to a doctor or kind of other. When you are a doctor or kind of a lady, 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 So, I was going to go to the office. So, she, uh, the manager said, uh, I think she can, with the time, she will make it. Do you know what that lady said? The lady said, I was not looking for a qualified person. I will teach her. I can never say, Margaret, every morning, come to my office when you report. I personally will teach you that which you don't know. The condition of see you, my friend, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Amen. In the process, ya kuni teach. Akanza kuduiza maswali. Nama, nama, nama hiu natokanga wapi? Ambia, kayole. Na, umeoleo. Ambia, eh, in fact. Niku na mkuto mdogo. Akanambia, what? You have a young baby? Six months? And you can manage? Akanambia, choose. Which one is good for you? You do you want to report at work at 9 30 or leave at 2? Which one do you want? Come on, here. Nikitoka Sanan, you can say, Dear Miss Wilson. I have a casema with those children. You are you married? Yes. What does your pastor, your, your husband do? He's a pastor of a small church. A casema, Nahim Shahara ya Kashu. Ah, I will talk. We must have just this side. That is within the first week. What are you going to do? When you are going to do this, you are going to do this. 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 You are going to do and I became one of the best scientists. When the Holy Spirit eh, comes, touches what you have, everything becomes possible. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. When the Holy Spirit touches what you have, everything becomes possible. So that is that is Samson. Well, I don't think I did yet. I don't think I did yet. 
Usifuate ya, mimi ni Margaret. Usifuate ya. Wewe uki mama bwana Mungu. Wewe so. Soma na usome kabisa. Kabisa ni waliwa tu wewe soma kabisa. My friend, usoma ni muhimu sana. Praise God. Soma. Hey, soma kabisa. I am not despising it. I am just giving a testimony. Amen. 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 Okay, let me just start on the principles and then five minutes and then we cross. Now, we see that uh, when the Holy Spirit came upon Moses number one, the cords in his arms melted, the bands in his hand loosed, his eyes opened, and he was able to see the new jawbone. And by faith, he was able to put forth his hand and see the revelation of taking that new jawbone. And he killed a thousand men using that jawbone. Now, my good man, little in a semba, Udasoma Kuakatuako. By the time Almanita Kukua, the thousand men, he was dusty to death. Akapata Q, Kalikuaku. Now, the Bible says he called on God. Now, I can be a moon. Who made it to me? I even put here. And the same job born. Ikatoboka Shimo. Ikatoka Maj. Akakonua. Umesoma yo. Ikatoka Maj. Akakonua. Akakonua. The same job born. Became a well. And he took that water and lived. Amen. I mean, we need him. Do you feel like you want you need to need him? The Holy Spirit. You know, when he comes upon you, he touches. If you are a singer, he touches your mouth. And he makes your mouth flexible. He loses your jaw. You can sing, you can worship. Even an intercessor, he touches you and gives you words. In whatever area you are, he touches you. He loosens your feet. If you are a missioner, he makes your feet to be sweet like a deer. You can be able to walk to missions. You can be able to go from door to door. You, he gives you boldness. You can talk to great men about Jesus. Amen. When he comes upon you, he makes it possible for you to become a vessel in his hands. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I say, if you are a king of financial, he touches your pocket and your hand. You can give anything. Unasikia kuna duwa tuwefu ishirini. Na akasema asa na ndio nikaambia nani na leo na nistani mtu akikwambia usiteme jina wachana na yeye praise the lord and hata mimi sitaki kumjua in fact it is written an anonymous giver may god bless that anonymous giver acha sivi kama ni kiingereza sawa that anonymous giver be blessed of god you are a king of financial because the Holy Spirit has touched your pocket, has touched your heart and your hand. You can give even the whole. He yot, let us go ahead. Na haumi, na haumuniki, na haramiki, na husemi, na ufuati. Amen. When the Holy Spirit touches you, yani akuuze wewe. In your area of calling, it becomes easy. Let us see the lay. Move what the Sababisha Apostle and the Bishop Nikina Squinkine. Now, I move what the Muslim Assembly will be in your secret. Amen. Because our time is over. The Holy Spirit will make it possible. Stay away from them because our time is over. We need the Holy Spirit. He can touch men for you. He can touch women for you. He can touch them. Are you looking for a job? God can touch men for you. Amen. Amen. Sinilikwambia vile niliajiriwa sisi radiators. Pale. Maybe umebaka radiator 
kwa nikiwa kama msichana kadogo liba roho hiyo hata siku alimekutana na dada na mimi ninaambia soja nataka kuona director anacheka anacheka kwa nini director ndio huyu amesimama hapa ananiuliza na unaambiwa kwa naambia eh anacheka na msa unakuwa kabisa unamjua namwambia ah bwana yuko anaitwa Mr. Kameko aruya ah that's my my connection with ruya is getting there then Mr. Kameko akanipenda tu alikuwa mzee ruya kanipenda kwa don't know where he is i buy him a soda oh i don't know akaniambia msichana unaitwa nani akimwambia unakujua kwa nini anambia si ndiye huyu imagine they were talking three directors maana they were brothers that's a company of a family it was her by then talking to her two brothers imagine huyu mwache manwa no wa mungu alibuguza anaenda kuambia director ati kuna msichana anakutafuta na you know it is illegal three directors are speaking no anaenda kuinterfere she left them akakuta msichana kuna semaje anambia nimekuja kutafuta kazi Naambia hakuna kazi, tunakuta wapi? Namwambia basi, kama hakuna, basi nita wewe nitafutie kazi. Ananiambia, atastuka. Wow. He. Naambia mstari. He. Wacha, wacha nikupatie. Ina she give me. Eh, akaniambia nipatie namba yako ya simu. Nilitoa tu namba, na nilita Marangra. Naam, ya neighbor. <laughs> Alikuwa anafanya kazi hapo town kwa boutique zingine zilikuwa hapo nimesahau jina. Hiyo ndio nilipea yake. Nasema kama akaniambia kama nitawahi pata kazi nitapiga kwa ina. Aki siku maliza tu. And by the time I was doing the interview naambiwa eh chikiria hapa kabla uende kufanya interview. Haijakuwa approved huko na nimeshapewa kazi hapa kama reception. <laughs> finally, that is the place I was finally made a pastor of the company. <laughs> Let's start the coffee. Hata ile kama majari kuja wa mwisho alisema wewe usaidi kufanya kazi kwa kwa workshop. Wewe ni pastor, akafungua kanisa. Akasema anadi command, my God will need such large command. Watu wote wakikuja asubuhi pitieni kwa Margaret Church na pastor mwingine alikuwa anaitwa Ndoro na dada mwingine alikuwa anaitwa Jennifer. We were three pastors. Kazi yetu si nyingine. Kuombea watu wakiingia kazi, giving them a word. Warudi waende kazi, sisi tuingie kwa ofisi tusome Bible. Wakienda lunch, wapitie hapo lunch hour. Wakienda jioni, wapitie maombi ya jioni. At the end of the month, mushahara. <laughs> This is what I did when I'm meeting with up with Mshidi. That's what I was doing, my friend. And from there, I can come back prayer center here. I can say, Masasa, you now qualify to go and be a pastor of a prayer center in here. My friend, who who will be my my wonders? When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, the impossible becomes possible. After your cousin.
Because we are accepting that word. We are receiving that word. It is not a touchdown in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, as the praise and worship is singing that song, a person will be coming to.